All right, everybody, welcome back to the stream. I had to fix a couple of settings here. It's been a while since I've played, so I'm not quite sure where some of the buttons are. And I had to adjust the resolution. So, all right. So this is new. I don't know who she is. I'm used to a different guide. I turned the guide on. I might not actually need it as much as I think I do uh, because I do remember how to do um, a bunch of the stuff. So let me see if I can turn off the... Uh, the tips here tutorial on okay let's see hopefully that won't be one of those things that I wish that I uh, <laughs> did not change but I think we should be good now now one thing I don't remember is I thought I'd be able to zoom out further. This might actually be the right zoom level, but it seems like it's really close in. Um, and that seems way too close. Oh, there's a bear, hello bear. Uh, but I remember it being a little bit easier to zoom further out, change the camera angle a little bit. I could be remembering that completely wrong. I thought it would be easier to get a little bit more of a lay of the land. I know, you know, obviously you can click here, but this seems extremely close in. I thought I'd be able to get a little bit more of a uh, a view outwards, but maybe maybe I'm just misremembering that. But anyway, in any case, here is our first set settlement. I'm gonna rename that because I don't like that. I like Port Jolie. It's one of those names that I like to reuse over and over again. And our protagonist name here is Emerson Roche. So let's go ahead and get into it. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played, so it's uh, be patient with me. Thanks for, thanks for coming and hanging out regardless of your level of interest in the game here. So let's, uh, wow, I, I had like a whole template before. Now I, am, uh, I do have a customized difficulty level here that is a custom like advanced level. Um, I like being able to move things back and forth. I don't think that necessarily adds um, any additional, okay, now there we go. How do I, this is the kind of thing I forget, like how do I, auto rotate that <clears throat> um, yeah so there are a couple things that I don't quite remember I forgot how to do blueprint mode okay there we go I guess we don't really need blueprint mode at this point I think we can just upgrade I know it's supposed to there's an upgrade all button um, which I forget where that is as well we'll place the marketplace right here a small warehouse uh that's right i think i need to build where should i build that first forestry and that looks like a good spot out here it's built oh that's right there's no roads like i said i uh, it's been a while since i've played so bear with me and same thing with this guy this guy needs to Explore. Why can't I select him? What's happening? Okay, just go and explore the map, please. No. It's all coming back. Or at least I hope it will. Sometime soon. Let's build our uh, timber production chain out here. So a lumberjack's hut. Something that I won't have to worry about reducing the 100% uh, efficiency rate here. And I like things to be neat. I'm not super, not super picky most of the time. I know for some folks, like, the, the OCD is is strong with this one. Uh, so let's demolish this. I feel like they did a couple of changes. Uh, there was a game update, and I know I downloaded that. I did stop playing right around the time um, Bright Harvest came out. So if there's anything there that, since that update... I'm not sure if I'm going to be quite aware of it. Now let's build a warehouse here. That seems to be good. Radius is here, and that makes sense because we're going to have an iron deposit here. Okay, so a new island has been discovered. Great. Let's see. Is it any good? Obviously, that's not it. Okay, here we go. see what do we have here so we have potatoes hops and niter here we have potato hop grain and grape okay so 
Grain is important. Hops are important. This looks like a good place to set up another island. And niter deposits. They have clay, so we can make brick. They have iron. So that's another important thing. Yeah, this would be a good place to kind of set up camp for our second our second island here. So where did our ship go? Don't quite... Nope. Nope. Not you. There we go. Still remembering the UI here. Taking a little a little while. Oh, that's too small. Uh, but that does have red pepper, which we don't have for our artisans. So that's going to be important too. So let's keep exploring the map a little bit longer. Let's maybe kind of go back here. And let's get back to the business of actually building up Port Jolie. Okay, so we've discovered Barrel uh, Amara's island up here. Cash away. Okay, so I think this is the normal zoom out, but for some reason, oh, that's not the right thing. I keep I'm, I'm <laughs> using my keyboard a lot more right now than I have been recently. I've been playing a lot of uh, CK3, Rome 2, uh, so I'm used to using the uh, WASD keys and I don't need them the same way here. So I don't like where that marketplace is at. This is the reason why I feel like you can place arbitrary limits on things and I just like being able to move things. Uh, apparently that's going to be an issue there. Okay, we can save this space for other other things I like to develop. Uh, we're probably going to need fish. We can build them down here. Oh, that's not close enough to anything. Uh, let's maybe here. See, and this is the reason why I feel like. Please, I am curious about your other world customs. Huh, okay, Princess Ching. I'm not sure if I've played too many games with uh, Princess Ching. Okay, so there we go. So we have some timber going. We have our base settlement. We have the small warehouse going. Let's try to uh, cut and paste some of this right here. Oh, remembering all uh, agricultural ornaments. This is new. New island has been discovered. Okay, that's somebody, that's Princess Ching. How about this? Okay, this has fur, grain, and potatoes. No, we need hops, red pepper. I don't want to get to the other side of the map. That'll be a little bit more difficult to get to. So let's keep exploring maybe south of here. Aha, what's this? This looks like a promising, promising island here. Build some more. I know there's a way to just copy and paste. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> uh, let's see. There we go. And relocate, copy. There we go. And let's flip that around. I know there's a way to do that too, and I forgot how to do that. Okay, let me pause the game here. How do you flip? Controls. Move toggle, pan camera right. Nope, nope, no. Rotate building left. Okay, that's right. It's command and or period and comma. That's right. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy these. And then that's it. Perfect. Do 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 Alright. How about this island? Oh no, that's the one we saw already. We're heading southeast. Port Jolie is a quaint village. I'm oh, sorry, I keep pressing that button. I'm reaching a little too high there. Okay, how about this guy? Nope, that's... Wait, is it this island? So fur, grain... No, we really need the hops. 
so not this island. Hmm. Pretty sure the pirates are going to be down here somewhere. So I think this one's a probably our best bet. So let's get our ship over there. And where can we have room to expand? That's pretty much mountain on that side. Uh, there's a beachfront there. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Perfect. All right. So we're pretty slow on timber production. I have to wait for that to be built up again. But we have all this kind of ready to go. And now we have our marketplace. So we're kind of setting our things up. And let's go into blueprint mode. And try to figure out where we want to put some of our other production chains when we get that. So schnapps. Uh, let's see. Where can shops go? We have a bunch of deposits over here. The oil spring. We have a clay deposit. So we should probably build out to that. Because I know that's going to be important. Uh, this seems fine. And there's another clay deposit right here. Okay. New island, huh? How about this guy? Nope. Stop it. Unselect. Deselect. There we go. <sighs> Wrong button. So there's a lot of grape and wheat. Um, we need the... Uh, the pepper or the hops. So let's go here. Yeah, let's let's have that keep going to his destination there. How much timber are we producing? It doesn't look like we're producing that. Oh, you know what? I am, goodness, I totally forgot. We have a bunch of the uh, timber, but we don't have a sawmill, which makes that very difficult. So we'll put that here. Oh, but we don't have any more timber. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, there we go, okay. I don't know how we were able to build that with no timber. What does it take to build that? Oh, okay, so it just takes money. Okay, good. Wow, we really kind of... So this is the thing. If It's been a while since I played, so I don't, you know, I, I don't have at the forefront of my mind the uh, all the different kind of presets that I'd gotten used to. Like, oh, okay, I'm going to do this first, and then that, and then this. So I've forgotten pretty much what I was doing. Um, we're running at a negative balance right now, but we're going to get that... Um, fixed straight away here now we have all these timber buildings unhappy population probably because they're missing a few things they're missing clothes so let's uh let's figure out where to put these sheep farms so this could be kind of industrial i like the area over here to be more oh there's another kind of uh timber or a clay area now like i said before i'm not really huge on making everything just so but i do like a little bit of order so we can do this just for right now. Again, like I said, in my difficulty settings, I haven't made it difficult to place elements differently or to move them. So now we're going to go and build our work, or our sheep farms here. I feel like we don't need as much room for uh, some of the other elements. For the framework knitters, for example, we don't need that many. Um, let's go into, are we on blueprint mode? Let's see this would be this would be good because then we have like a crossroad going here let's just square this off and then we'll have some sheep farms up here i forgot how these are laid out these are oh that's right these are easy squares so let's go ahead and use our copy tool here and we can move them around a little bit and then Actually, I'm going to relocate this. There we go. I know there's probably a shortcut for all of this, but I don't remember it at the, at the moment. So the other kind of advantage, because it has been so long, is that I think in some ways it allows me to kind of reevaluate some of the strategies I used to use before. And to kind of think, well, is it going to be better for me to do something slightly different? For example, this this layout is something I'm not used to. I'm used to just putting them all adjacent to each other, but I don't know if maybe the roads will make it easier to uh, build in that area later. So 
I'm going to have some framework renders here. If we have um, a trade union later, it'll be easy to kind of concentrate all of that together. So we don't want it to... This should be fine right here. I was th or Initially, I was thinking about putting all of them over here. This could be okay. Actually, this will work too. Let's put this right here. And let's go ahead and build one of these up and then build the knitters. So this is going to produce... Oh, we don't have a warehouse. That's important. Let's put the warehouse right here. Or actually, yeah, this should be fine. Oh, and we don't have the timber because I built the knitters before I needed to do that. So let's pause them because they're not actually doing anything. So this is what I mean. Like, I, I don't really have the blueprints all in my head from what I used to do. So it's kind of experimenting. So this whole area right here can also be for schnapps. Um, potato farm because I'll, I'll build this area up here with grain I think this area would be okay for schnapps like expanding out this way we don't need that much room for all of these sheep knitters so I th or uh, wool knitters I guess so let's uh how far is that build enough for let's see that's about one two three four cross let's say this and let's uh we can go ahead and copy that and see do we need to rebuild this somewhere else yeah so it looks like it's a little a little snug here so we're gonna make that we're gonna delete that road move it a couple spaces to the east and then copy now here's the other thing. We could build north. We don't have to build east. This would actually probably be better here. So let's uh, go ahead and copy these guys. And then we can rotate that way. Build a road out here. And then we'll just kind of square this area off if we need any more production. We can also expand south here. I think schnapps would be potatoes would be good here because we can just build around this whole area. I like putting the farms near the edge of the map where I feel like it'll be easier to kind of fill in the spaces. So we could put a couple of roads here. Well, we have a road here. So this is going to be a clay mine later. So let's go ahead and see what we have in terms of the schnapps production chain. So we can build a couple of potato farms here. And so this is what I like to do with this. So, oops, that's, nope. Delete, delete. There we go. So with this guy, let's build this out. I think we can build even further out here. Okay, so that's all we need in terms of that. And then this. We go here. We even have room for another potato farm here. Let's take care of this road. build another potato farm here and expand this over here perfect so we have these guys we can build a distillery over here we need a warehouse for sure so I think this would be a good place for one what's the range of this guy here I can't really tell um, let's build a warehouse over here then how much do we need to build two and we need another warehouse here which is 10 so we need to save up for that for right now but that's I mean that's the next step in the production chain right now okay now now that we have a warehouse let's go ahead and start building that I need clothes again I'm trying this on a little bit of a, a higher difficulty level than I used to play I used to just play normal this is like normal with some some changes here and there uh mostly in terms of the income from the citizens or from the uh inhabitants or dwellers so that's changed a little bit um normal abundance normal fertility but in terms of moving that's the one thing i thought was kind of weird i mean i get it right but if we're playing a game we're playing a game i like the ability to especially because i don't quite know um how things are supposed to be laid out i like being able to re kind of lay out a city 
I don't know, obviously, if we were, you know, in the real world, that wouldn't necessarily be the case, but, you know, we're not. So, while I'm still learning the game, which, I, you know, I consider myself to definitely still be learning, I prefer to do it that way. So, we do have um, areas for some schnapps distilleries over here. This can fill the space up quite nicely, actually. We do need to make room for um, a processing area, a brick, a brick factory for this later. So that could go right here. This warehouse is here. Schnapps could go over here. They don't take up that much room, the distilleries. We also need a fire department. That's definitely going to be important over here. So let's go, let's say here for right now. Or uh, let's say here. This will be a good effective area. All right, so now we have our Schnapps Distillery up and running. Now we need more people. And we'll go ahead and lay that all out here as well. Have this all kind of set up. Oh, that's right. Goodness, I didn't even build a port here. So this looks like a nice middle stretch of the beach. So let's go ahead and claim this area here. Build a trading post. Gekeren. So we'll have this go back here. I don't like the name of Gekeren. Let's say um, this has hops and niter, hoppy nitery. <laughs> let's say um, Green Isle. Portially Green Isle, fantastic. Need to stop pressing the WASD keys. This is weird. I don't like the fact that it's out there by itself, but let's see. How, let's, okay, that's right. We have the production menus. Producing two, we only need one. Oh no, do we need two? No, we have two, we only need one. So. We're good with this for right now. Uh, let's see if we can explore. Let's have our flagship here explore the rest of the map. Nope. Wrong. There we go. I don't like the fact that this one's already built. Um, let's build some cross streets right here. I like having this grid pattern. We also need a fire station somewhere down here. That's a little too far away. This should be a good area right in the middle of the city here. And, oh, we also need a pub. That's right. Remiss in figuring that out. Maybe up here. Eh, here we go. That should be good. Oh, we need 10. Okay, there we go. We have some quests here. How about a favor for a favor? Hmm. Sure. Flotsam. Okay, let's send... easy way to get some cash at the beginning of the game. I usually don't pay attention to, to, to the quests all that much, but... <clears throat> okay, so for the fire station, we don't really need that. Oh, yeah. Plus, it's going to be increased maintenance, but I think let's just go ahead and be safe. It usually doesn't affect things that much, so let's, let's hold off on that until we build up a little bit more here. We probably could use a second lumber mill. We could build that over here. And we'll get rid of the other one that we don't need later on as the game progresses. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and build another one right here. Mm 
this is one of those kinds of buildings that I feel like you really you don't need too many of and I kind of thought that I did at the very beginning when I first started playing I was like oh we're gonna need way more timber than that and that turns out not really Let's get all these things kind of set up here. And a sawmill. Oh, warehouse we need, and then yes. Eli Bleakworth. Aha. Uh -huh. Now where is this flotsam that I'm supposed to be looking for? I think it's in this foggy bit of the map here. There it is. Okay. Delivered a Mara Shady Clipper. Okay, now we have enough for the where- oh, nope, we don't have enough for the warehouse. I don't know what that little star means here. I have some mines. This will be a good way for us to get some uh, extra loot. Okay, now we have enough for that warehouse. Let's build that warehouse here. And then we can build a sawmill. Perfect. Now we have that production line going. Then we can actually start building. Um, take a look. What does our production look like right now? Okay, so we're producing a little bit more than we actually need. We we can um, build another one of these sheep farms. We need more timber. So do we have anything to sell? We have some fish. I mean, we can sell extra fish. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's trade sell when it gets above, say, 30. And everything else seems... Oh, yeah, and we're closed. Like, let's say minimum stock of 30. And then once we get to 30... I noticed that I didn't do this quite early enough in the game last time. And I feel like it's an easy way to earn money passively when you're not even paying attention. And I, you know, neglected to do that earlier on in the game. In my previous playthroughs... And I think I was just losing money for no good reason, just because I didn't actually go in there and activate all that at the very beginning. So hopefully by doing that, we'll be able to earn some extra income without really thinking about that, especially because a lot of the stock is just going to accumulate. And we're not really going to have any need for it. All right. Nice. Okay, so we got some money. We have an 18-pounder long gun. And more reputation. So we can actually... Can we equip this? I don't think we can. Oh, actually, can we? No, we can. Yes, great. Now let's go over here to Princess Ching. See what quest she might have for us. Photography quest. Great, that's easy. Okay, take a photo of a sailing ship. Where? Nice. Hmm. That was extremely easy. <laughs> Didn't even have to do anything. I thought we would have to like actually do something different. Turns out no. Okay, so now we're here. Let's uh let's explore the rest of the map. We haven't seen too much of it. Now we're armed with an extra extra gun, so that's gonna be handy. Now we're we're actually building a lot more uh we're creating a lot more timber, so I know there's a a, a way to cut it. There we go. Select that. I don't want to do upgrade all. I forget. Let's see. How do we... Copy... No, it's not upgrade. Ah, there we go. Actually, it was upgrade. There we go. Let's take a look at our production menu. 
So we're actually reaching a little bit more of the level here with our... Our sheep. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Keep pressing the wrong keys now. Uh, now we actually have enough to build these firehouses. I want to make sure I build those just because I want to be... Fully aware of things. Now the other thing too is that we can actually start building up our other island here in Green Isle. So I'll uh, I'll get to st uh, starting this. I was like, oh, we don't really have that much to do. No, actually we do. We have a lot of planning to do. So I think what I'm going to do here is put this all into green. Um, that's not quite wide enough. I don't like that. Oh, Willy Wobble Silk. Let's build. Uh, that's right. We need to get timber first. These are the basic things that I always forget. It's like, yep, set up, set up for, you know, timber. That's not going to be great later. There we go. And set up a warehouse. Set up a sawmill. There we go. And now we can actually build houses. Oh, that's not it. I wish there was a control X. I mean, I don't know. Maybe there is a control X button that I just don't know how to use. So let's build these guys here and let's connect them with roads. Oh. Serve as the nucleus of the town here. Uh, again, we need to have Basic services, so a marketplace. There we go. This is the width that I actually wanted to set up last time, and I just, again, brand new. And I know I could theoretically move everything around, but I don't do everything that way. I'm not going to go through and like really just tear up the entire town. I feel like that's a little that's a little extra. Uh, so now let's go ahead and upgrade all of these guys. Perfect. And now let's build a fishery. Let's plan for that. Can't build it too far out because we don't have a warehouse yet that will that'll reach out there. So let's do this. And that should be building up. And does that actually reach? It does not. Okay, let's take a look at the newspaper here. Okay, this is fine. Uh, when there's like a plus, or like a net zero effect, I usually kind of just leave it as it is. Maybe I should actually go in there and take a better look at it. But for right now, let's just go ahead and leave it. And I think I'm going to move this fishery a little bit closer here. I will move it out eventually. But for right now, it's a little close. You know what? I'm going to build it over here. There we go. And demolish all of this right here. Come on, bud. There we go. Now, are we actually producing any timber here? Yes. It's just going to take a while, I guess. don't have any wood. Wait, why? Nope. It's just taking a while. Okay. Is something not connected here? Nope. Should be fine. I think it's just taking longer. There it is. There's some... Who's this? Do we have another quest here? Ten tons of timber. Okay, so I know we have some extra timber. Let's go back down here, collect that from Port Jolie. Now we are having a surplus of timber here. Let's go ahead and build the fire stations.
we do have excess population here. Uh, we're going to start needing more schnapps and wool or work clothes. So let's build, let's build this out. So I remember the production is one of those things that's kind of interesting to look at here. So this is going to produce one per every 30 seconds. This will produce one per 30 seconds. So we pretty much need a one to one ratio here of uh, workshop or knitter to uh, knitter to um, sheep farm. So that'll do one to one. The schnapps factory produces every 30 seconds and potato farm produces every 30 seconds. So again, another one to one. So let's go ahead and increase that. Oh, 63. Okay, so this didn't build out all the way. That's rather unfortunate. Let's go ahead and take this out. Let's demolish some of these. And we need to make sure that this gets filled out. There we go. Just a minor adjustment. Now this guy needs to make sure he gets all of that built. And that, there you go. And let's build another schnapps factory. Schnapps, schnapps, schnapps. Schnapps factory, distillery. Now we need more people. So this is, you know, pretty much the constant story of how auto works. There we go. So that should be fine. Now let's pick up some t uh, timber here. Ah, oh, change the ship's skin. All right, let's not. There we go. And now let's send him back here. Oh, it looks like we have another quest here. I've something to put before a townsperson. I got something perplexing they set in straight. Fifteen tons of wood. I think we have that, don't we? You ready? We'll gather a toast. Nice. Now we have a bosun. Great. So let's make sure we assign her next time the uh, ship is in port. Still need to do some exploration here. We don't know where the rest of the map is. So once we deliver this to Willy Wibblestock, let's explore the rest of the map. So one thing we need to do is plan for how we want to expand in the future. Okay, so Green Isle actually can do a little bit more expanding here too. What is our income here? It's minus 60 uh, because we are not consuming or we're not actually selling anything. We need fish. So let's go ahead and build a fishery, upgrade these two farmer residences. They're going to need fish and they're going to need a uh, same thing with a work clothes situation here. I want to be able to expand the city east. Where are the mines? The mines are up here. So we have an iron deposit. We have a coal deposit over here. We have another beachfront over here so we can expand as, uh, in that direction as well. This is a kind of a weird escarpment that's coming out right here. Uh, and we could build a city north and then east or north and west as well. So I think let's try to build. Let's have the sheep farmers kind of be off to the right here in this area and have this kind of be the more industrial part of town. Build a dirt road up to here and then like let's go into blueprint mode. Make sure that we don't uh, get within that radius. So let's build a road right outside. Uh, maybe that's a little bit closer. And now, there we go. So this will be this long, uh, like kind of a lumber area. Now we can build our sheep farms. I think this should be good. Yes. And copy and paste. This is what I would usually do here. Uh, well, we've kind of set it up already to have the two road, or the road go through there. So 
So let's stick with that. Oh, what happened here? There we go. Yes, there we go. I feel like we actually have space for another sheep farm here. Now let's send our ship since we're up here already. Let's send let's send the endeavor to explore. Oh, here we go. There's another island I didn't notice before. Now here we are back on Green Isle. Let's uh, let's build this work clothes production out here. Uh, the knitters can go here. We need a warehouse. So at the end of this intersection right here would be good. I present my humble Archibald Blake. Okay, cool. You will your so warehouse, sheep farm, and a framework knitter. And we need more people. So let's uh, copy this right here. And just go ahead and cut and paste. So it's slightly off on this right hand side. I'm used to things being like a grid. So that's not terribly grid like, but I mean, I can work with it. Oh, who, where? Okay, this island unsettled. Okay, so we have hops and potatoes. I don't know where the red peppers are. Now, this will be handy later because this has grain and it also has fur. So our next island, I think we want... Oh, well, this one also has grapes. So that'll be later for champagne. So these two islands, we can get one of these two. I like the, the size of this guy right here. Um, this has niter and hops. Let's see if there's something else on the other side of the islands, uh, the other side of the map that we're missing. Here we go. Let's go in this direction. I don't know if this is going to be friendly territory. But there's at least a couple of islands in this general direction. So let's send them there. And then there's also, I think, it looks like there's, yes, there's enough room for another, another island here somewhere. There it is that we haven't discovered yet. So let's try to figure out where the red pepper island is so we can figure out how to make food for our artisans later on in the game. Now we do have uh, an excess population here, 95 in Port Julie. Now, are we selling our goods here? Are our citizens happy? Can we upgrade them? Yes, okay, now we have workers. Perfect, now we can actually build a sausage factory, age of industrialization, so that's Hitting the ground and running there. We actually need more farmers. So let's uh, upgrade a couple of these houses here. There we go. <laughs> and we can upgrade here as well. There we go. Great. Now we have a village here. And now we can unlock brick. Oh, here is the pirate. Nope, that's barrel. Okay, so now this is a new island has been discovered. Great. Is it a good one? Is the, does it have anything that we, not, uh, that we don't have? Here we go. Perfect. So this has hops and red pepper. Oh, it's a really small island. Not a huge fan of that. I know later on in the game you could do something to kind of get around the fact that an island's not not particularly large because you can send workers through ports from, you know, excess workers from different islands. Haven't gotten to that point in the game yet, so I'm not really familiar with that work, uh, with that whole workflow. Uh, let's see if we can build up a clay pit here. Now we need to build a brick factory. We can go here, uh, over here, that's fine. And now we need more workers, so now we can upgrade more of our houses here. So let's go in here and look at our upgrade menu. We can upgrade these three. And maybe here, there we go. 
Uh oh. Okay, I think we've met those pirates. Uh, this is another good one. This is good. This is a bigger island. This has peppers and hops and fur. So if we can at all get up here first. Do we have the material? I don't think we do. Uh, we don't. Okay, so now we need to make sure we acquire some timber and some steel. That's not going to happen for a while. So we need to get our workers workers together. Now, I, I hear the pirate music, I'm pretty sure. So the thing we're going to want to do here as quickly as possible is upgrade so we can actually get some steel beams produced. Now that we have some workers, we can do that. We have some brick that's being made. We need sausages for their happiness and satisfaction. And I feel like this area is another good place for that as well. This is already kind of built up and this will be this industrial like area. We're going to already have the, uh, we have the brick factory there. So putting some pig farms in this area would also not be a terrible idea. We've gotten another island that we've discovered here. And they also have red peppers, but they also have uh, potatoes and grains. So the only thing about this island way up here is that they don't have any of the basic foodstuff islands, or, um, fertilities. So they don't have grain, they don't have hops. So they're going to have to have all their alcohol shipped to them. They're going to need, um, you know, bread shipped to them. So that's going to be a little bit more difficult. They're, they are on the other side of the map. This island here also has red pepper. That's the thing we really don't have anything of. This one has fur, niter, and uh, hops. So really when it comes down to, we want to try to gun for this island here. This is the only large island that has uh, pepper fertility as far as I can tell. Now there's another island down here that we might want to get to. So let's try to get the endeavor over here. See if we can discover anything worth noting. Um, now that we're back in Port Julie, we can plan out for these iron deposits so we can actually start building this stuff. Same thing with sausages. Let's build uh, some pig farms up here. Had to make an adjustment to the game listing on Twitch, so I did that right here. So let's plan some of these um, sausage factories. <laughs> Pig farm sausage factory. I mean, that is a sausage, a slaughterhouse sausage factory. And the icon, is, it, look, it looks like a sausage. It's a sausage factory. Uh, so let's build these pig farms out. I know there's a way I liked to do this before. Let me see if I can remember that. That is not it. Nope. That's not quite it. Nope, let's de demolish that. I had a layout that worked. Aha, now I think I remember now. No? No, that was definitely not it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, new island discovered. Is this one getting good? Eh. It's okay. It's not a terrible island, but it's not something that we really need. Right, I was in the middle of planning these little... No, no. Aha. Yes, no. Uh. Oh, sounds like there's a fire. There we go. One, two, and then three on this side. That's what it was. There we go. <laughs> I know there was a way that I had this laid out before. Let's copy. Copy and paste. I think we're going to need quite a few of these things. That's the only thing about uh, any kind of meat producing facilities that you need a, a bunch to produce anything that you really need. This is a kind of a strange space here. I think I might try to move that a little bit. Yeah. Pirates. Now I've discovered where the pirate island is. So let's send the Endeavor over here. I think Madame Kahina is going to be over here.
Okay, now that we have this in place, let's take a look at the rest of the production chain here. So we need sausages and that's a minute and this produces every minute. So it's a one-to-one. -one. We could put the slaughterhouse over here. I think soap we'll put over here eventually. Slaughterhouse here should be fine. So let's go ahead and build that up. We don't have... Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. Now we need more workers. Oh, that's not the right... That's not the worker button. There we go. And now if we head back to Green Isle, let's see what's happening here. They are unhappy. What do they need? They probably need... Nothing's easy, is it? Oh. I thought... They seem pretty happy. What are they missing? Unhappy population. Okay, so this is something I don't quite understand. They seem to have everything that they need. Oh, okay. They don't have a pub. Ah, my bad, guys. Sorry about that. Let's build you a pub. Perfect. There we go. I was about to say, I thought they had everything they needed. Now, the other thing we could start planning out here... Where is that? That's fine. Oh, that's a large island. Maybe I should have said no. It's a very... Eh... Maybe I should have taken that out. I mean, honestly, I don't really need the resources this has to offer. I have a few more islands much, much closer to me, so... Eh. Okay, we're sending our ship west. We're having some builders here. That's right. I was in the middle of kind of planning out the next step industrialization wise. Um, oh, bread, church, sales, small harbor, bricks, sausages, trade union. You know, I thought I was able to build a steel mill. I guess that's the next step, actually. Ah, nope. Barrels pink and the red of the pirates is very close. Oh yeah, trade rights, that's fine. Give me 3,000 that's fine. Now, what don't we have here? Could have sworn I should have had access to steel. Oh, that's right, I haven't unlocked it yet because we don't have enough workers. Okay, so we have... Again, it sounds like there's pirates. I don't know where that music is coming from or why. Or is that a fire? Oh, I think that might be a fire. No? Maybe pirates? Oh wait, is it happening on a different island? No. Speaking of which, I don't think we have a firehouse built here yet, either. Probably should build build a firehouse. Let's uh, set that up. New buildings have been unlocked. Okay, so let's build a fire station here. Uh, let's cover the center of the city. This should be good right here. And then let's build another one over here by all the industry. We're not producing anything worth value here on Green Isle. Let's start selling some of our excess. You a new milestone. Huh, Port Town. Very nice. Trade. 
church bread. That's right. Now we have a whole other thing. And then sales. So let's build our sale factory over here somewhere. We only need one of them. Okay, so we need bricks for that. So we'll build that in time. Bread. Nice. Okay, so grain farms. I was thinking this could be a nice grain farm area just extending out to the east here. Let's extend this road. Eh, it's not lined up. Nope. Nope. I wish there's a control X or a control Z. Uh, just for right now, I think that should be good. We could probably build our farm starting here and then building south, and we can build all of our bakeries and whatnot up here. So let's go back to that workflow. Let's find some more grain farm templates here. Because we're needing we're gonna need a brick factory right here. So a warehouse at this corner would probably be good. Uh, let's plan for that as well. And let's build... Oh, actually, no, what? No. Well, this is okay. I really want the grain farms to be built on this other side right here. There we go. That's where that function went. Is just kind of drag and drop. Let's do this. So the grain farms can take advantage of this weird jagged coastline here. I can leave this area free for some uh, some other things. So let's just build right along the coast here. Hmm. It's gonna bug me. I know there's a way to kind of just arrange that uh, so it you know if the perfectionism hits you can figure that out uh, but I thought I want as well just fix it now hmm I haven't tried this setup there is a weird gap there but that might actually be okay Now we have that, and then we can put the flour mills over here. Same thing with the bakeries. Build the roads out. this bakery fit in there or this flour mill that's yeah there we go perfect okay so that's a weird spot for it but you know what it's the same thing and uh we can build another flour mill as well so let's build the grain farm the warehouse the flour mill and the bakery so we're going to need brick for that uh but we can get this flour up and going and we can also build this clay deposit into a pit, clay pit, and then build another brick factory here. Because we're running low on brick now. And we need more workers, which is not surprising. And we also need more people in general. So we can go ahead and develop all these areas, upgrade all of that all at once. Not forget about the road that we need up there. do this here and we also need to be able to upgrade it to uh, workers Gorgeous. forget how much it takes is it four okay so we could do three right now oh 
Okay, so we have a surplus of workers. Now we're going to be able to have the clay pit and the brick factory. That's just going to take some time. We're missing goods from this grain farm. Oh, we're also missing part of the grain field here. Okay, there we go. So that that figured itself out, ish. Let's go back to our other island here, Green Isle. Uh, where's? Uh, no, actually, I want that. Okay, it's interesting that they're even asking, but come on now, that's like the only real big island with a red pepper f uh, fertility here. Why would I want you to settle there? So, we need to... I thought we had... Oh no, we did reach the limit on that. The game just didn't upgrade that. Uh, we need to... See, this... No. Aren't you already at capacity? I think they're supposed to be at capacity. See, it says limit reached, but for some reason it's not it's not upgrading that information. Let's No. Okay, you know what? I think there's a little bit of a bug here. I'm just gonna go ahead and demolish this. Maybe build it over here somewhere and make it a little bit more apparent to the game. It's still Thanks. There isn't enough, but okay, fine, whatever. I, I'm pretty sure the game will figure that out. So we need to make sure we get enough workers so we can start uh, start unlocking the uh, steel beams. So we need about 80 more workers or so. Now need bread. So bread, all of this needs to be happening all at once. Let's build this other grain farm. So I forget, this is, what's the production here? It's gonna be one minute. Hmm. Fine. So. Huh. So the flour mill is going to be building. So the grain farm, this is theoretically supposed to be at 100%. Honestly, I don't even know why it's not registering that it's not having all the fields. Because it does. It's maxed out. So, I don't know. Hopefully that's something that I can figure out. I don't know if I need to restart everything, but... So theoretically, that takes that takes a minute. The flour mill takes 30 seconds. So it's actually going to be two flour mills per one grain farm. And I think the bakery is going to be... Is it one minute? Yes. Yeah, so theoretically, it's one minute. So it's going to be two grain farms per one flour mill and two flour mills per one bakery. So one bakery could theoretically support up to four grain farms and two flour mills. That's the conversion rate. That's right. So let's uh, let's build these grain farms up. Let's plant another one down here. Are they within range of the warehouse? I think they are. Yes. And let's build this up here. Okay. Build that up. So now we have the four grain farms, which should be good for two of these flour mills. Let's build this flour mill up. And then these two flour mills can feed the one bakery. And that'll be 100% for our baking. Alliance, sure. Wait, why do we have to pay her? I mean, I guess so. Why not? Sure. I don't really care. Um, that's right. Our ship's over here. Let's send back here. We don't have any trade routes yet. We could probably extra four stone blueprint mode. Oh! Thanks for the heads up. Goodness, I d wouldn't even have realized that. Pickup quest, sure. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Oh, no, wrong one. Where's the flotsam? Okay, let's send the endeavor here. Good looking out. Thanks for that. I would have... <laughs> I have no idea how long it would have taken for me to figure that out. There we go. Thanks. That was very helpful. I definitely appreciate that. I don't know how long it would have taken for me to figure that out on my own. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade some of these farmers here.
How much more do we need to unlock? Okay, good. We have the weapons production chain open now. We have steel beam production chain open now. So now I don't feel as bad for telling uh, Willie, no, you can't settle here. Okay, here's some flotsam. Is it just these two? Okay. Delivered a, a Wibblesock's Weedy Clipper. Silos. Key to animal husbandry? That's right. This is one of those things that came out with the Bright Harvest update that I didn't quite understand because I didn't play around with it too much with it. I didn't play around too much with it. So it's going to be one of those new things that I kind of figure out here. I know you're busy, but I have a favor to ask. Okay, that's right. Build one silo on any pig farm. All right. Connect silo to a warehouse. Oh, we don't have the gold. Okay, so we'll gold. We don't have the timber, so we'll wait off. We'll we'll wait on this guy. That that side quest. Oh, I keep using the WASD keys. Okay. Oh, we have another side quest here. What is this? Levy is a sand boy. Will you build us another castle? Far be it from us to make the fall. Collect the workers' comrades. Modern chip tools. Nice. Okay, self-repair plus a thousand active healing destroyed after use. All right. Now let's go ahead and plan some of this stuff here for the steel beams. We need the iron mine here. We're going to need a charcoal uh, charcoal kiln somewhere close by. Eh, ish. We're going to be offshoring all of this later on in the game anyway, so I'm not too picky about where everything's going right now. That's not it. Okay. And it's within range of this, so let's go ahead and build the iron mine. Charcoal kiln is going to require more brick. And then once we have those two in place, let's make sure we can get to a furnace. That should be fine right here. And then the steelworks should be fine right here. And let's make sure we are not remiss in putting a very essential firehouse over here to cover all of our bases. So once we have all that, we'll go ahead and build that. Then we can actually start building our colony here so we can get to the red pepper that we need. All the production chains are starting to grow. Ain't perfect, but what is? So they have most of what they need. They don't have any schnapps. Now, I know we produce schnapps on the other island. Do we have excess schnapps right now or not? It's a big question. Yes, we do. We have 58. So we need to send our ship over there. <laughs> Let's build. I forget that we were actually building something for our sail makers, but we don't have the brick for it right now. So a couple of these things are things that we just have to wait for. We need brick to build a couple of these things. There we go. And now we have the circular saw. Increases productivity, which is great. So we could probably bring that, I think, on our expeditions. They tend to be pretty good for crafting. There we go. So let's drop this off at the port. For right now, we can trade. We can use our deck our, and like our ship to bring stuff back and forth. We're not really using it for very much right now. And let's set up a trade route. Let's go from Port Jolie to Green Isle. Let's have a trade route. Add the Endeavor, start to Port Jolie, and then go to Green Isle. We can just load some schnapps here, not 50. Now let's start off with four. Don't think they need that much. And for right now, they're not bringing anything back. Major issue. Never gets unloaded. Oh, duh. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so our balance is not terrible. <laughs> uh, it is still negative, but that's probably because Green Isle is not actually producing anything we can sell. Uh, let's see. We have enough. Uh, we have timber and work clothes that they can sell. So let's go ahead and make sure that we sell those. Let's say sell timber when above 50. And let's sell work clothes when above, let's say above 50. Not quite there yet. We do need workers, but those workers are going to need sausage and they need schnapps and whole production chain. Uh, we haven't really spent too much time developing Green Isles, so let's see. Do we have a firehouse? We do have a firehouse built there. We don't have the infrastructure set up quite yet for pig farms and whatnot, but we can set that up very easily right now. That's not it. We could probably set up our pig farms and stuff right to the left here. Let's get all this stuff set up. We don't have fertility for... Uh, oh, we do have... <laughs> goodness, we have schnapps fertility. We don't have beer fertility. Completely different story. Okay, so let's set up some potato farms right here. This should be fine. And we have enough land to just build straight back here. Perfect. have this set up. Let's set up some uh, schnapp distilleries. I mean, really, that's not very... Let's... Uh, we could also set up a trade union here later pretty easily. So we have that, and now we can build those up. Perfect. And we can actually build these guys up. Let's upgrade a bunch of these houses here. And we... Okay, yeah, they should have access to all this stuff in just a minute. There we go. Good stuff. I don't know what's happening here. We have another quest, a theoretical quest here. Hydrostatic torpedo, huh? Okay, run some errands for me. Yeah, sure. What what do you need? Deliver this Maro Shady's Clipper. Well, I don't have weapons yet. Oh, that's poo. All right. Can we actually build? Oh, we do. Okay. So we have we have the iron. We don't have the furnace up yet. So we have. Let's build the furnace. Let's build the fire station. Let's build the charcoal kiln. And the steelworks are going to have to wait, but at least we can get started on that whole chain right now. I keep forgetting about the sailmaker back here. It looks like everything else is working pretty well, though. They do need a church. Let's uh, let's put the blueprint down for the church here. I usually try putting it somewhere over here, but that's not going to work right now. So this might work. We're going to be building our industrial center out to the left here, so I think in some ways it'll be better if we build it to the right. Because the city's going to expand more in this direction here. So this should be fine right here. There are going to be some workers that don't have access to it though, so maybe... Hmm. We can demolish these houses. Build a church right here actually. Yeah, let's do that.
Oh, that's right. I have the ability to just drop and drag. Drag and drop. Okay. I can see how that's kind of like a gimme, but I'm going to let it be for right now. Let's just, let's just keep it like that. So now we have, we don't have enough workers. We're missing some workers. We're missing some charcoal. It's because we don't have enough workers. Now we don't have enough farmers. Always something, right? Let's see. Nope, did not. <laughs> That's an odd road out of nowhere to just build. Let's demolish that. Dirt roads are just fine for right now. I mean, eventually, obviously, I'm going to upgrade these, but right now... Goodness. Now we're upgrading these houses. Now we should have enough farmers. Now we have enough brick to build a furnace. There we go. Now all of that's ready. And we definitely don't have the manpower. Or, yeah. Yeah. We're going to have to plant a couple of more suburbs here. Let's do that real quick. Rotate this around. Okay, so it looks like we don't actually... We're not super short of a bunch of the workers. Or a bunch of the farmers. We just need more workers. But of course, once we build more worker housing, we're going to need more farmers. So actually, yes, we are short. But we need to accumulate more. So let's let's uh, put put the seal works on pause, because then we can still we still have a surplus at that point. So we can still start to accumulate some uh, steel beams, uh, or actually, sorry, we can start to uh, accumulate steel, but not create steel beams. So let's do that for right now. And Green Isle, let's just make sure we're checking back here. It looks like everybody has what they need. They don't have, uh, we don't have any, um, one of our routes has a minor issue. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it's the, the route with, let's build a clay pit. It's the route that has the schnapps, which I realized I actually don't need to worry about. Ah, right, we don't have the workhorse for that, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and plan that out though. So we have a brick, thing a brick a clay pit and a brick factory right here does that affect the lumberjack hut production i guess it does 94 percent. let's uh let's move this here to the other end and that's fine that this isn't working right now we should try to see if we can expand uh our slaughterhouse district so i'm gonna move that right here or make that be right about here probably a little too far north actually let's uh copy some of this just kind of plan it out there we go and now we can actually demolish this and move that road north just to make it look a little bit neater here there we go now we can build our meat packing district here now we can go ahead and duplicate this
Oh, that's not right. <laughs> there we go. Build some more roads. And now we can build our processing area here. Build a slaughterhouse. First of all, we need a warehouse. Ah, warehouse could have gone here too. Let's do that. Now we can build a slaughterhouse here and we actually can turn these around so we could fit two in that space. Actually, we can fit more. So, we need more workers. Let's upgrade a bunch of these guys here. Perfect. Now, we can build a small warehouse. Oh, we, we technically already have a warehouse in that area. Let's see. Uh, now we can build a pig farm and one of the slaughterhouses when we have our resources there. Poor Jolie looks like it's doing pretty well. We don't have the surplus we need for uh, the complete opening of the steelworks, so let's upgrade. I think we can upgrade 10 of these units right now. So we need... How many do we need for... <clears throat> we need 200, I think. Just shorts. Okay, we can upgrade a couple of these houses. Ah, they need a second marketplace. Now this is where the paved streets come in very handy. Ah, we're missing brick. Wouldn't you know it. That's not what I wanted to build here. There we go. Ah. Oh, well, we need to build an extension of the road up this way. Just for right now, that should be more than enough. There we go. And voila, now we have the amount of workers we need. Let's go ahead and build this furnace or build the steelworks, not build it, set it into motion so now we can actually start building. So right now, I think this is a good place to pause. I just wanted to kind of get this new game started. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I will be posting this stuff to YouTube in the next few coming days. Uh, my usual schedule for streaming is from 2.30 p.m. to about 5.30 p.m., 6 p.m. Pacific Standard or Pacific Daylight Time. So that's about minus 7 GMT, I think, and then minus 8 CET, depending on your time zone. Thanks for hanging out. It's been great. It's been fun getting back into this. Go ahead and make sure uh, to follow if you'd like. Uh, we do have a community on Discord that's just starting up. And like I said, I'm sorry to post more content to YouTube. So go ahead and follow me, subscribe, like the videos that I have there. It's been great hanging out, and I will see you next time.